Alright, so I'm um, just now starting to get over a cold, so if my voice sounds funny, that's probably the reason why. So I just recently discovered this trick. It's nothing really crazy. It's actually pretty simple, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Just in case you were wondering, yes, I'm going to be uh, posting some tutorials on the harder tricks that I have, the more slacky ones. Like, I am planning on releasing a tutorial for uh, Slack Rain, which is the uh, first trick in my uh, Wooly Marmot 2 video, which I uh, have gotten multiple requests for. I also am going to post a tutorial on how to do Silly String. I'm probably only going to be able to do a couple of those in like a month or so because those are not easy to make and edit. For now, uh, as a warm up, I'll just go ahead and give you this trick as a uh, little bit of a fun little project. First step, double or nothing, roll over the finger once, roll over twice, land on the string. We're gonna roll the yo-yo into this string, so just like that. I'm gonna curl this finger in, let that string off. I'm gonna run a roll the yo-yo over your finger again and curl the finger in yet again, let both of the strings fall off. Then this step is the same as the pop in original star or also uh, for that pop that I did in five hop to double GT which was a trick I made up a long long time ago so uh, except you're gonna be landing it on this string so the one that's attached to your middle finger so like that and you'll see you have this little cross and uh, to get into your tower you can just drop that string off and boom, you got yourself a tower. Then you just want to drop that string off and you're in a trapeze, dismount, bind back, and that's basically the trick. So let me slow that down just a bit. So, just simple dov double or nothing, nothing crazy. You're just going to want to do like a little pinwheel sort of thing like that. And then you're going to want to pull it over again and land it on this front string. So, like that. Alright, now see this top string right here at the very top one? You're just going to roll the yo-yo straight into it and let it drape over your index finger, so just like that. You'll probably be holding on to that string, just go ahead and let go of it. Then uh, you're just going to want to take this string and let it sort of inch its way off of that finger. So once you're here, you're just going to go ahead and roll the yo-yo over again from the front, so in front of it, like that. Alright, so um, you're just going to go ahead and do that. Just keep this back string out of the way and just sort of roll it over again then you're just going to want to pull this finger through all those loops like that right now this last step is probably the hardest you're just going to basically uh, pop the up and see that string in the middle you're just going to want to pluck it with your thumb and uh, see how it just sort of lands on whatever string it may be in the middle of so uh, you're just going to want to have to uh, practice with this and then eventually land it on this one so just sort of pop it up see that one in the middle grab it with your thumb and land it on that string then you'll have your cross and uh, and of course if you want to keep it in the cross and have that as your final shape go ahead I don't care um, you can just drop this off to get your tower and that's basically how you do it so you want to do that in one motion so like that it may take a bit of practice, but it's not that bad, so just practice that, and uh, you'll have it in no time. You also want to have like all these rollovers in one smooth motion. Now that is a bit tricky, you just want to really progress and get it faster and faster. I had a bit of trouble with that, so just go ahead and practice that if you want to get it faster. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and... Uh... On that last pop, try and land the yo-yo on different strings and sort of experiment with it because you can get a lot of different shapes depending on which string you land it on. Hope you enjoyed and uh, more tutorials are coming soon, so uh, yeah, stay tuned.